What's up guys, it's Jamie Foy here and we're here to talk about some front cooking. I mean, I started skating at such an early age that uh, it's hard for me to remember the first people that I seen skate and the real influences of my skating. So at that time, the only thing I seen in skating was 411 videos. The fascination of like crooks and everything kind of came from them and like seeing Costin in them, always doing the, you know, the K grind, like holding them and it looked different, you know, just the way they're posted up on the ledge, it just looked different than a normal nose grind. But then over the years, I seen it evolve and I didn't have front crooks for like a long time, maybe a year before I moved out here to California. I remember being at the skate park and my homie Josh, uh, he's super good at front crooks and I didn't have him at the time. I really wanted him to teach me how to front crook, but uh, the way me and Josh are, like we're really good friends, so we kind of we butt heads a lot on certain things. So he was kind of being very analytical about it, and but that's good, letting me know what to do and how to do it. But it wasn't clicking for me. I didn't really get it. We kind of just got into a little, like just like homie scuffle of just being like, ah, oh, dude, no, this isn't right. And he was just like, ah, oh, man, I don't, if you don't get it, like the way I'm explaining it, like I don't think you'll ever be able to front crook. And you know, it's just like, I was like, all right, like, cool, whatever. Like, I'm gonna figure it out on my own then. Yeah, and then slowly, I just remember at the time, I was like, I'm gonna start on the ledge. And trying to get the front crook was a little weird, but all I would do is stand next to the ledge, not moving. I figured like learning how to hold it first is the important part. I put my board into a front crook, stand on it, figure out where like you put pressure on your toe. And just like, when you're standing in the front crook, balancing on a ledge, you kind of just feel how it locks. So it's like, you kind of like, it's all skating is muscle memory. So once you feel, get that feeling, you're like, all right, now I just need to imitate that going somewhere. And then slowly like start moving and wax the hell out the ledge. I wax, I wax the ledge a lot. When you're trying to learn a, a trick like a front crook and you want to hold it, friction is not your friend. And just practice over and over and over. And that's pretty much all I did. And I just started like holding it and it started working. When I was like just getting on Death Wish, we went on a demo like signing shop tour being my first time like on a demo circuit with them was like super cool we were just kind of talking about demos and stuff and Reynolds pretty much like heard us talking about it and was turn around and was like yeah I mean don't worry about it like everyone here has got our like niche as long as you can get out there and front crook something like the kids will be hyped so I was like all right cool one of the biggest front crooks in my mind and I think has like jump-started my career was the front crook on El Toro which was one of the scariest things in my life for sure like rolling up and getting the confidence to go for it like was a real like pull the trigger moment for me. As soon as I got there, didn't think I was gonna do it at all. I was like, oh, I'm gonna bail. Like, I'm just not even gonna try it. I was so annoyed with myself. And then just having the homies there, it all, it all worked out. Something that I've always like said skating, you just gotta be super confident. And that is something that like solidified my confidence in the sense of like, all right, if I really believe I can do it and I just really try it without any doubt in my mind, I can get it done. And then honestly, one of my other main front crooks that I remember forever is the front crook right here. It was a good one. I somehow was able to skate after, but the next day is when I when it hit. I couldn't skate for like four or five days after that. My back was hurting. But yeah, that was like one of my other main ones that I'll probably remember forever. Whenever I front crook, I mean, it's a big thing that a lot of people don't know is that they don't really hang their foot all the way across their board, their front foot. So pretty much right here, big toe hanging off. And after I pop and try to slide and jump forward onto the ledge, what I imagine is like trying to like grab the corner of the ledge or the rail with my toe. So pretty much, and I'm on top, I'm not on the side, I'm on top. So that way, if anything, like if the board misses, I'm on the ledge, I'm over the rail, kind of more of a safety feature is having your shoulders over the top of the ledge or the rail. So that way, if anything, you're going to go on top of the ledge or over the rail and avoid falling as hard as, <laughs> as you can fall. And so far, like that's kind of the more surefire way. I've tried so many different foot placements to see how, like what are the odds of locking into a front crook. And this is the one that pretty much has proven like <laughs> unfaulty for me. This is like the one that I go to. I, I really love front crooking stuff, I actually do. <laughs>